The aim of the following experiment is to analyze cellular viscoelastic properties under different physiological and pathological conditions. This is achieved by applying negative pressure to the cell membrane via a glass micropipette connected to a pressure transducer that has been constructed from glass capillaries using a micropipette puller. The pipettes are mounted onto a fine micro manipulator positioned on a stage of an inverted microscope and the tip of the pipette is brought into close proximity of a cell. Next, a seal is created between the tip of the pipette and the cell membrane. Membrane deformation into the pipette is then measured in response to an applied step of negative pressure. Results are obtained that show effects of different treatments on cellular biomechanical properties based on the degree of membrane deformation in response to well-defined force. The impact of our lab is to investigate the impact of dyslipidemia on biophysical and biomechanical properties of vascular endothelial cells. And we're going to tell you today about a method that is called micropipette aspiration that we use to measure cell stiffness. The implications of this technique extend toward the basic understanding of cellular biomechanics and multiple mechanisms such as angiogenesis, me mechanosensing, and migration, and more. Though this method can provide insight into cellular biomechanics, it can also be applied to other systems such as model membranes, intracellular organelles, or tissues. To visualize the cell membrane and observe the membrane projection into the pipette, vascular endothelial cellular membranes are stained with a lipophilic fluorescent dye. To begin, dilute stock dye dye to a working concentration.